hey guys welcome back to the reactive course in this video we are going to talk about how to fetch get all request basically we are going to uh, fetch a api call and we're gonna render the data render the data using the map function okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna make a function that will make a api call to the api request and we'll we will going to use map function uh, to render data in the next video we are going to use flat list to render that data okay so let me show you which api which uh, we're gonna use it to render the data so to render the data i'm going to use fake store api so you can see that there is called fake store api uh, which provides a fake api and you can use it so you can see that there is one api called slash products so i'm just hitting this so when i click on this so you can see that when we uh, they have we get the all the data okay so we have like almost uh, 20 data we are getting so we are going to use this api in our application and we're gonna render the data using the map function in this video but in the next video we are going to use flat list okay so let's see how we can do it so i'm going to open my vs code uh removing the whole code okay let's see what in the in the last video we have used the you know we have fetched the data using the id and we get the object and we are just rendering that but in this video we are going to get the uh, data in the array format and we're gonna render that okay so i'm going to remove this whole code for now and typing rnfes so it will write a uh, one component for me now we're gonna make a called one function const get all products it's gonna be async function because api call is time consuming and that's why we use async await uh, you can use dot then dot catch as well okay now after that i have to write const response await in fetch and i have to paste that path okay we get the data and after that we have to convert that data into the json format and make sure to add a await before uh, while converting into the json format otherwise you might get error okay now we will get we will get the data on the console if we do console but let's leave it out okay and we're gonna have a one use effect uh whenever the component load first time it's gonna make an api call okay so let's call the get all products function for now here okay and let's see so you can see that we are getting the data here you can see that all the data is we are getting now once we get the data we gonna uh okay let me comment it for now otherwise it will make a api call a lot of times whenever the we do the changes so i'm going to add a two property called is loading set is loading and the use state will be false okay now we're gonna have uh, another state where we're gonna have a uh, products products set products products okay and by default the initial value will be empty array okay so basically we have created two state for the handling the loading state and the second state for product state once we get the data basically we are calling this function get all products once we get the data we are gonna uh, set that state to the uh, product state and you know one more thing which we are gonna do whenever we make api call we are gonna make the set is loading as a true and once we set the data we are gonna make as a false we are gonna stop the loader okay now let me make a get all products api call as well now you can see that uh get all products not we gonna products dot map and we get the item and we're gonna write the return the component here okay we're gonna have a view and inside the view we're gonna have a text and we're gonna have a item dot name let me see is there is name key yeah we have called title key price key and description to item dot title okay so you can see that we are getting all the titles okay and let me add a image we are getting image as well so let me render the image here quickly 
image we have to import the image from the react native and source image okay my bad let me import the image from the react native okay we have imported the image and source will be uri okay and it will be item dot uh, image if i'm not wrong yeah image right it's correct and item dot image and let me add a property some style and let me add some height and width quickly here height will be 50 i think it's gonna be too low okay let me add a hundred so you can see that we are getting the hide okay but it's not scrollable like you can see like you know we have more item i think it's one two three four five six seven eight nine but we have almost uh we are getting almost 20 is data okay it's not a scroll but to make it scrollable we have to replace the view with the scroll view okay and let me import the scroll view as well so a scroll view from the react native okay now if i scroll that okay first reload the app and reload remove the console for now okay now again i'm reloading the app so it's not scrolling why okay there's one more thing which i just want to add whenever we you know map the item we have to pass the key okay otherwise we'll get that a warning to add a key okay now if i again reload the app it's really scroll view is not working okay so let me close the app sometime it's happened like if you just close the app and restart it again so it started working so okay now you can see that it started working okay so we are getting all the data okay and resize moves at a cover okay now you can see that we are getting the data and uh, let's me make it a height as a 300 okay and have uh, some padding as well inside the image will be 20 okay now you can see that we are getting all the images okay and showing all the data now we are having an item dot title let me add another thing called item dot description as well description so we are getting the description as well okay now let's style the title as well style is equal to styles dot okay styles dot title and i'm going to write the title styling in the style sheet quickly color will be a uh, black okay and the font size will be 20 okay okay now you can see it and uh, let's me give it some kind of padding as well of 20 okay so this is how we can you know basically uh, uh map the data basically this is how we can get all the data and show the data okay this is one thing which i just want to add quickly like whenever there is loading is true we're gonna show the uh ad activity indicator so let me import the activity indicator from the react native okay otherwise null okay and yeah so let's summarize this code so what we have done we are using this api called fake store api and we have called this slash products api we are using this apis and what we had done we had created one function called call get all products okay and what is happening first we are uh, we using a fetch function and we are calling this uh, api okay and once we calling this function we are converting into json format now after getting the data we are setting that data into the product state and we are making set is loading as a false okay and whenever the component get mount first time so we are using use effect so this use effect will run whenever the component get mount on the ui okay now uh, currently we are using map function but uh, whenever we do map in a you know we are whenever we render a lot of data in react native we should use react we should use flat list but for the example we are just using 
uh, map and inside the we have been we are using a scroll view inside the scroll view we are mapping all the data okay uh, and you know we have a lot of properties like we have like item dot title as well we have called item dot price so you can show all the things we have rating count all this thing and if i want to say like you know show the price as well so i can show the price 695 and like this so basically this is how we uh you know uh what i'm trying to say this is how we make a api call and show the data on the ui uh but this is not good practice in the next video we are going to use flat list and that is good practice so i think that's all in the next video we are going to uh, make api call and render that render the list of data using the flat list and yeah that's all in this video see you guys in the next video thank you bye